Now you say you have some independents who are supporting. Yes, all is supporting, right? right? There, there are some independents who are supporting. Right. Both sides had independent support. Now, now they had level support. One second, one second, one second. Now, one second. We are just we are trying to un- look. These examples are only to see what the governor should in a situation. We are just giving. Exactly. Well, then stupid. how? Well, it is not just what did but he apply his mind to this issue. Well, this is all very well. We are happening in a court of law. But did he apply his mind to this issue? But Mr. Sibal, one thing which we cannot therefore discount: the governor has two responsibilities. One, the governor cannot enter into the thicket of disqualification. Two, the governor cannot do anything which seems to protect those who have incurred the wrath of disqualification. There we are with you completely. Equally, what is of concern to us is that the governor, in all these political wranglings and you know whatever goes on in the polity, there is a very high constitutional principle, which is that whoever is sworn in as the chief minister must ultimately. Have accountability to Parliament and therefore to the people. Otherwise, what we'll be doing is that the the defections have two consequences. The defectors have a personal consequence that they get out of the house, that their seats become vacant. But equally, we cannot gloss over the fact that the defection affects the stability of the government itself. And how does the governor, as an elected, as the head of the state, ignore the consequence of where is that question that arises here, Mullahs? Where is that question, please? How does it arise here? How did the governor? Governor didn't look at all this. What your words were putting to me? Ask for the records. So, Mullahs, why go into a hypothetical situation, Mullahs? With the greatest respect, Mullahs, your lordships have so much experience. Let's not tread into areas which we are not called upon to tread upon. We are here as to how thirty-nine or whatever thirty-four go to the governor. And the governor recognizes the thirty-four, knowing that they are in the Shiv Sena. There is, there is the leader of the Shiv Sena. They recognizes Udav Thakre. He recognizes the split and uh, and and uh, administers the oath of office. How does all this enter into this uh, into the reckoning here? As a, as a principle, you are saying that the gov- governor could not have got into it. Has not got into yes, it. Yes, yes, is not. Yes, and. Uh, the premise for that is that the government the governor cannot do it constitutionally. That's right. It should not. That's all that. That's all that your lordship needs to consider. And I can understand, Mullahs. I can understand the situation. There can be another hypothetical. I'm sorry. So once there is an existing government, according to you, yes, which yes. this was, this is not yes. government formation for the first time. That's correct. Then the governor, short of a no confidence vote, which is brought on the floor of the house. Yes. The governor must ensure that the the existing position continues until somebody brings a no confidence. That's the only way. Now your lordships have laid that down. No longer parading. No longer uh, comparing signatures. All that is over. So if they think if the BJP thought that we had lost confidence, they should have moved a motion. That is because of Bombay, which say which said that it's only the floor of the house. That's that correct. Extended. So you move a no confidence. How do these issues come in at all? There is no discretion. So according to you, as a matter of principle, it's absent a, a uh, absent a motion of no confidence, that's right. the governor must continue with the existing position. That's correct because there is an elected government. Elected right. government. Right. right. Now this is much worse that he recognizes the split and administers the oath of office. And thereafter, the float test was subsequently. Yes. That is on fourth. Yes, on fourth. Third or fourth. Including those thirty-nine. But there, uh, so far speaking for myself, can the governor? Correct, because the under the ten schedule, it is for the speaker to take a decision. Right. Correct. Can the governor, governor, correct, on his own without any disqualify by the speaker can take cognizance that they are uh, they are uh, disqualified. Your lordship is right, absolutely right, but they are still the Shiv Sena. That question will still have to be answered. What is that? What are the thirty nine? They are still the Shiv Sena. So then he recognizes the split. That's the problem. That's why the ten schedule. That's why the whole paragraph. This is the whole the issue. When three was eliminated, it was only for the purposes. Deleted. It is only for the purposes. Majority or minority, you can't destabilize an elected government. And constitutional morality is was the was the linchpin. So the so let's say. And that's why I told your lordships. Ideally, the governor should have said, no further action. Get your disqualification decided. Then I will see. I told that you are not sure earlier. But suppose the speaker doesn't decide. Mother, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. 
<laughs> yeah, suppose, suppose these qualification questions are not decided at all. In the meantime, the governor is satisfied. Correct? Not that, he, no, no. He, by, on the basis of the material on uh, was he correct? can't. Well, that's not his job. Is the is the no confidence motion in the house? How is the government government satisfaction after election doesn't arise? Well, I'm sorry. As a constitutional principle, it doesn't arise. Don't give that discretion to the governor. You will have toppling governments every other day. First, the ED will go, then the CBI will go, then the governor will exercise discretion, and governments will be toppled. How's the discretion? So, speaker versus governor. Speaker versus governor, as I had said. So, the flip side of it is that without any chance for all that to be panned out, the speaker shows over anxiety to take up the matter and immediately disqualify all those who are intending to. Oh, the speaker should decide. Your lordships have now said within three months. This is the judgment of this court that within three months, speaker must decide. Uh, normally earlier, but latest within three months. Justice Nariman's judgment was in Meghachal No, I was telling you about the flip side of it. Is on the one hand, yes, governors or anxiety saying that okay, you prove the majority. Right, right. On the other hand, we have a speaker exercising that discretion and says, now come on, you immediately show, I will disqualify all of you. So these are the two constitutional but there's judicial, One who, is subject to judicial review, the other is not. Difference is one is subject to judicial review, the other is not. All are subject to judicial review. No, but, but once a new government is formed, whereas if he calls for a trust, new government is formed, whereas what judicial review? True, true. Remedy is a different matter. I agree with you that yeah. there is a remedy. Yeah. But really speaking, it's there. And what we need to interpret is the scope of the jurisdiction of the governor and the scope of the jurisdiction of the speaker also. The speaker, of course, the scope of jurisdiction is clear. He has to decide the matter. Open extent. He has to decide the matter. No, I mean, not just can he come to pay back. I'm not saying anything right now, but factually. Yes, yes. All right. but factually, factually. made an incorrect statement. Right. And there was no input given to the governor. There were two letters sent to the governor. Which the governor has referred to in a letter to Mr. Udav Thakre before he called for a floor test. Correct, correct, absolutely. So that there is enough material for the governor to decide that this I government think, was I think my learned friends uh, have to first have to ask the other side. What was the material before the governor on the basis of the yes. last decision made to form the government? Well, no, they're not, that's fine. Uh, particularly when he knew that this was really a breakaway faction of yes. the government. Yes, how does he justify that? The, the question is, how do you administer an oath of office to Eknath Sinde? No, Malaz, I can understand. I do. Malaz, there'll be another, there's another situation. There are multi-parties, Malaz. Not just in this case, they'll say in several states, Malaz, we have a multi-party system, several parties come together. And Malaz, suddenly, suddenly a no confidence is moved. Malaz, or somebody seeks, and in the meantime, some disqualification petitions are pending. At that stage, the governor doesn't bother about the disqualification petitions. There's a no confidence. These fellows both will vote. Can you see, Malas, the consequences? We'll take the 39 to be validly members of the House, not disqualified. Disqualification petitions pending. Move a no confidence motion. Now, they can't move a no confidence motion because the 39 will be subject to the whip. So they know that they don't have majority. Therefore, what do they do? 39, go to the governor and say that now recognize me. So please appreciate, Malas, the way to, 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 to ensure that the government falls is to move the no confidence. Why did they not move it? They could have, the 39 could have voted, they are members of the legislature. They did not move it because they knew that they are part of the Shiv Sena, subject to the whip. The government will sustain, will not fall. So the only way out was this conspiracy. And that was hatched, hatched much earlier. That's how they went to Gujarat and Assam. Having done that, they wrote that letter, which I read to your Lord Shismanas. I read that letter that, you know, this present government, the, the party members are very unhappy with it. Uh, we have been not following the ideology of Bala Sahib. All that letter I read to your Lord Shismanas. And then they go to the speaker. So whether it's majority, minority, it really doesn't matter. Unless. So how could the trust vote be called? Trust vote means that you have prima facie lost confidence. Governor knows 
that this government is not not not, uh, not why we go into the matter that the that the that the governor will presume that these people will be will be disqualified why do we even presume that they are qualified till such time as they are disqualified so move on no confidence so mothers your lawyers must ask the question why they didn't do that and when let me put it this way if they were so concerned mother they should have voted against the whip they should have voted against the whip now your lawyers have seen the correspondence 21st june onwards there is not a whisper of any rival group not a whisper it's only the 39 sitting there so uh, this is just to rephrase it according to you there was no information in the possession of the yeah. ec Yeah. To show that there are rival groups, yes. and you have to be satisfied. Yes. Now, my dear, no. the petition. Oh, can you just rephrase your submission, Mr. Sibyl, again on this point? My dear, one saying, my dear, the the jurisdiction of the commission will commence when the commission has it in its possession information on which it is satisfied that there are two rival factions within a political party. Right. And in this case, what is the now? Now, my dear, can you see? Therefore. in the context of this 10th scheduled mothers now this just that that proposition in the context of the 10th scheduled the only way you can get a symbol is when there are two rival factions within the party it is nothing to do with the 10th scheduled no this has nothing to do with the 10th scheduled correct right so mother there has to be there has to be a, a a faction emerging take for example mother majority of the people in the 10th scheduled Let's uh, are with with Thakre. Let's assume all fifty five are with Thakre. Then also para fifty winners can be can be invoked by somebody making an application because fifteen para para fifteen refers to the party. Ah, That's right. So one of the split has to refers to correct. The split has to be. I'm only I'm right. agreeing. Well, I'm saying exactly right. that split has to take place within the party. Right. That split did not take place on twenty first June or immediately thereafter. Never took place. A petition is filed on the nineteenth of July. Correct, correct. Nineteenth of July. Just note that. Nineteenth of July. Nineteenth of July. Nineteenth of July. Absolutely correct. correct. And on the eighteenth of July, it is alleged, what is what is submitted along with the petition, is minutes of meetings. Where are the minutes? Where are the minutes of meeting here in this compilation page PDF page? Yes, we just shown that one. Yeah, and it's not there. It's not we, I just. No, that's, that's why we. It's not okay. an annex chapter. That's why we gave that to you. It's just simple, but that's not an annex chapter. The petition. Are we right? Not. In, it's not here, Malad. That's why I gave you a lot of. No, no. Where do what? You, I, I'm just. Let me hear, Malad. What you have read of this para twenty six. Para twenty five refers to annex J P five, which is the minutes of the meeting of the. We have a forty two. That's minutes. We don't have, but the petition also does it and closes it. Is what we are trying to ask. Yes, yes. That was handed over. That was handed over. It doesn't say. That's why we gave it to your lordship. That is of the twenty seventh. Yes. So now it says twenty seventh. This petition is filed on twenty ninth. These are the these are. They didn't close the. Second one they didn't close. First one they didn't close. P five they didn't close. So, mother, these are the two documents with the commission. Now, if you read paragraph fifteen, this represents a two factions in the party, the minutes of meeting. That's how the election commission, mother, got jurisdiction, according to them. And mother, this is a final order. This is kindly just look at it. I can understand if the commission says read evidence. I can understand. Please prove your case. on this basis a final order is passed which is the subject matter of challenge in the other proceeding that's how they got the symbol so what does the governor do what does the election commission do and this is the evidence and then we have to uh, you know get, we must ensure we must trust that all institutional authorities function in accordance with the law and if this kind of manipulation takes place mr in the processes of of institutional decision making where we go mothers i where we will go i don't know this is not a case of a pre poll alliance this is not a case of a post poll alliance this is not a case of one political party it is a case of people who allege that they are the party because they are a majority in the legislature right mothers what then are the powers or what should be the function of the governor in matters of this nature and how he should conduct himself because he also knows 
because the disqualification petition is pending with us. He also knows it. And if the governor does Malas swear him in as a chief minister, Malas, he actually topples, topples a democratically elected government and aids in doing that because they happen to be majority in the legislature. That's one of the issues that your lordship may have to consider. The other issue to be considered is, can a court, constitutional court, without referring the matter to the speaker in the facts and circumstances of this case, decide the matter on its own, given the fact that there are no disputed facts. We are not going to Malert's place before your lordship any disputed fact. All are matters of record. You, you, your question is, can a constitutional court decide 10 schedule? That's correct. 10 that's schedule. Yeah, that's, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Because under the 10 schedule, it has the speaker to decide, Malas. But if the proceedings, Malas, are imbued with illegality, and given the conduct of speakers in the past, what then should be the attitude of the court in a given matter? 